As I told you about bonds, bonds are strong. We're talking about hundreds of kilo calories per mole. Um, unfortunately, that's something we're going to need to come back to repeatedly in this class. How do we count energies? Well, we're going to occasionally going to use kilojoules. We're occasionally going to use kilocalories. But it turns out that inside one molecule, these small energies would be absurdly small. They would be 10 to the power of minus 25 or something. And something tells me that you don't want to use numbers that small because it gets obnoxious. So instead, we tend to measure energies in terms of kilojoules per mole. That is, instead of measuring the energy in one bond, I measure the energy that would be stored in Avogadro's numbers bonds. And the reason why we've adapted that is that that leads to very nice numbers. You can talk about the energy of a bond might be 200 kilocalories per mole or something. 200 is an easy number to work with, and I can't forget about all those exponentials. And that is so common that, sadly, us chemists, we occasionally, we might occasionally be a bit sloppy and say that the energy is 200 kcal. And when I say 200 kcal, you should just take it for granted that I actually mean 200 kcal per mole. There is no way we would have absolute energy that would be 200 kcal inside a molecule. So why do we use kilojoules and kcals? There is an SI standard for this, and that would be the kilojoule. Uh, the problem is that standards are great, so people tend to develop their own. And if you look at this all over the world, in particular in the US, people still tend to use kcals, uh, even in parts of Asia. In Europe, kilojoules are more common, uh, but the sad part, both of these number systems are around. And that means you need to be aware of both of them. Um, there are very few, I don't think there is anything in this class that's going to depend on the exact 4.184 conversion factor between them. But you need to account for this factor of 4. For instance, if I ask you about the energy of a hydrogen bond, if you make a factor of 4 error, that's probably large enough that you might not get that right on the exam. So, in summary, uh, I would suggest that you look up these numbers. You're going to need to think about kilojoules. kilojoules per mole, kcals, and kcals per mole. So try to look up either for bonds if you want to, uh, or the other interactions I'm going to talk about, and get the rough idea what are the orders of magnitudes of the various energies you have, and see if you can get a gut feeling about which ones of these are high and which ones are low. I will tell you a little bit about it in some of these short video recordings about the different types of interactions.